India is a democratic country. Here women enjoy the same right as that of men. But mostly it is seen that they often get sexually harassed in workplace in spite of the sexual harassment for women at workplace act 2013 women are not women are getting harassed day by day and not getting justice recently ashik bani of famed actress tanushree dutt revealed that how she was allegedly harassed by film actor nana patekar after the bold stand of tanushree dutt against the women exploitation in workplace many women started sharing their experience how they were harassed in workplace social media has started buzzing with a lot of women calling out sexual harassment at workplace including media and film industry ndtv a low rated tv channel is in, in the list the controversial tv channel ndtv is known for having an agenda and makes hollow statements when on women safety A woman named Nikita Arora on 5th October put out a tweet replying to Anu Bhuyan and Maya Mitchandani who feel pride that they have spent the bulk of their journalistic career in the safest newsroom of NDTV. She said that back in 2014 she had faced sexual harassment in NDTV by one man. She even claimed that the man harassed multiple women there. the women had to quit while he continued to work she said sadly there have been a few women in ndtv convergence that faced undue attention from one man who continued to work while they were compelled to quit the hr2 made false assurance to the victims emails to top management went unanswered to that Barkhadat the former group editor NDTV replied that she did not know Ankita and was unaware of such incident the woman then claimed that she had written to Dat and NDTV head Pranoy Rai multiple times but she never got any response from them she said i had written to both to you and Dr Roy several times over email This was back in 2014. Unfortunately, never received a response. Did muster of courage to inform the HR, was hugely disappointed by them too. Three days after, the replied that convergence department was not under her, and she has been a consultant with NDTV since 2014. She said. She neither had any jurisdiction nor she knew who Nikita was talking about. Nikita then said that she had written to Dot with confidence that she would be heard, but she was not. She said, "Yes, I was aware that you had no jurisdiction over convergence, but after the HR failed me." I choose to write to you with confidence that I shall be heard since you have been one of those who have championed the cause of women. That's all I tried to do what I could at that point. Meanwhile, NDTV's group CEO Shuparna Singh has claimed that Nikita's complaint will be investigated on the basis of what she has shared.